Hello everyone, somebody asked me what the 2.5 trillion debt ceiling increase uh, means for inflation. Okay, so uh, just some quick math, uh, 2.5 trillion out of the total, I think, 32 trillion debt that we have, uh, that's about an 8% increase, okay? So, so basically you can expect... Um, an 8% inflation increase between now and, you know, 2024 or, or the next, or basically when this debt ceiling gets hit again, which should be within the next year, year and a half, two years, whenever, you know. Uh, so you can you can expect about a, an 8% inflation increase. Now, uh, people will say that, um, well, you know what, that, you know, I mean, it's $2.5 trillion um, you know, of an increase in the amount of money that the government can spend, uh, but I'm putting it against the only against 32 trillion, which is only against, let's say, the, the total debt, uh, which is basically a representation of all the money printing that the government uh, has done to date. Um, so people say, well, what about all the rest of the money that's out there in circulation? You know, because remember, uh, people and businesses are also able to create money the way we create money is we put up assets okay so we take a mortgage on a house a loan on a business you know you go to you know you buy you purchase a car you put up basically the 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 asset gets put up as collateral okay so for individuals and businesses um we have to put up assets in order to create money okay the government doesn't the government can just uh, uh, put up basically they, they, they put up debt the idea behind that is that they're uh, putting up their ability to tax and raise money in the future but anyway the, the point here is that um, you know what, what happens when you factor in all the other money that's out there that's being created and uh, my answer to that is that you know all that stuff is kind of working separately on its own you know all that money that's being created and paid back um, you know through um, you know uh, you know it, it, you know through normal banking means uh, through normal uh, lending and borrowing in the private sector that's almost that's all acting kind of independently okay so so I think that you know, my approach is to just isolate what the government's doing. The money that they are creating uh, through uh, through the through the the, the um, you know the borrowing that they're doing, not the borrowing, but just you know they call it borrowing, but it's just it's just straight money printing. You know, they're basically going to increase that now by about eight percent, and they're just going to dump that into into the economy over the next whatever year, two years. Uh, so that's a total of eight percent. Um, so, so they're adding something into this uh, really worldwide economy that normally wouldn't be there, okay, if they weren't doing that, okay. Uh, so that's why I just I tend to just focus on that aspect because everything else is really working normally, okay. The government side of this is the only unnormal part uh, because normally the way money printing is no money creation is supposed to happen it's supposed to happen in the private sector people put up real assets right whether you put up a house that you know your mortgage or whether you own a gold mine and you go into the you know you go into your mine you pull out gold and then you give that to the bank so the bank can create money based on the gold doesn't make a difference you know it, it's basically supposed to be uh, an, an asset based monetary system whether it's real estate or gold Precious metals, whatever, is supposed to be asset based. So the government is cheating by not putting up real assets. So uh, the rest of it is working normal. It's just the government side of this is what's unnormal. And we can kind of isolate that and say, hey, you know, they're increasing the amount of money creation by 2.5 trillion, which is about 8% out of the total 32 trillion that they have created. So we can expect about an 8% uh, increase in inflation, um, you know, and, and just to put things into perspective, I mean, the, the number trillion is an absurdly large number. Um, we shouldn't be talking about trillion unless we're talking about molecules or stars or grains of sand on the earth, okay, because I think there's somewhere between 7 and 12 trillion grains of sand on the earth. So for the government to come along and say that they're going to 
you know, they, they got $32 trillion in debt. I mean, it's absurd. I mean, they can't possibly have, you know, they can't have that kind of debt because that type of money doesn't exist. Okay, so I, I like to remind people that uh, a million seconds is seven days, a billion seconds is 31 years, and a trillion seconds is 31,000 years. Okay, that's, that's an insanely large number. Okay, so uh, based on the debt ceiling increase, 2.5 trillion over the total 32 trillion, you can expect an 8% inflation increase. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop some comments below, and I'll talk to you all soon.